That's just oh. summer there and then. Ainsley joins us now. And what's this? What have you made? Uh, well, normally it's with rum, coconut rum, but actually this is because of the time of day. I've just made it with mangoes, like a mango pulp, a little bit of lime, coconut That's water in there, fresh coconut water. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'll try with rum next time. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I, I probably will join you too. <laughs> I don't care what time it is. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Mm. So we're talking about colourful stuff here, Ian, and actually this is what your whole program is to me, because I did watch it, mm. and it's coming back again. It kicks off next Monday Absolutely. at 8pm. 8 8pm 8 in the evening. It was in the afternoon I'm delighted, actually. It's Christy. such a gorgeous program. It mm. must mean a lot to you, because you've kind of gone back to certainly your father's roots. Yeah, absolutely. You started in Jamaica, actually, in the yeah. first program. Which very is first one was there. And, and then to go back in this capacity, not only to... to find out about the culture, the people, but to also sort of dip into the different types of food. Because there's that, there's that thing, Christine, everyone believes that Caribbean food is the same all across the Caribbean. It's like saying food is the same all across Europe. It's course, not. Yeah. You know, how different are we to Germany, to France, to Italy, you know, in terms of the style of food that we eat? And, you know, so it was a real eye-opener and uh, very touching for me. You know, it's, it's kind of a something quite personal. No, of course it is. And that comes across, I think, when you mm. watch it. You see, you went to the Fleming Villa as well. We see you there. Oh, yes. Uh, where, of course, Ian Fleming wrote Double mm. Seven. Even those moments, you know, you're, we see you with martinis and you yeah. think, actually, this is the place to do this. Know, yeah. There's little moments like that that really stand out, oh, I think, within it. the whole series. And you can so easily understand why Ian Fleming was able to sort of really capture the imagination of the world with his movies because the scenery around there, the crashing waves and, yes. you know, and let's not forget that I, I'm sure people at home remember every James Bond movie, there's a water scene, isn't there? Sometimes over the top, like Thunderbirds, everything happens yeah. under water. But, you know, there's those that... There's always a water scene and someone walking around out the water, whether it's uh, Halle Berry or... Yeah, um, that's true. ..or Ursula Andress. Do you remember all yeah, those types of things? that's where he got the inspiration Each from, generation has their own kind of water to see, no, you know of course I mean? they do. Well, we just mentioned singing the, the theme tune. Mm. So does this mean Calypso Twins started? Was that 30 years ago you oh, started the band? Probably even more than that. Another thing is when you, you, know, you, you get together with your old schoolmates and it's almost like getting together and having a game of five a side or something like that for us to get together and to sing music again and to take out a few percussion instruments and Paul still can kind of hit the, the you know, the the chords on his guitar. <laughs> it's lovely. What, what more do you want? You know? Of course, exactly. So it, it's a lovely opportunity and uh, I just hope people like it. Well, we've we been talking about fun. Sugar Babes, Reform and Spice Girls are back. Why not Calypso? Yeah. Anything is possible. <laughs> Loving you, Christine. <laughs> 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 but you talk about your dad, and like, your dad was a musician, so Absolutely, obviously yeah. that has just filtered through, because you, mm. your love of food, obviously, but music is a big passion. Oh, yeah, I think it's a combination. Mum with the food and Dad, even though my, my father was a fine, fine cooker, but a slow cooker, you know, one of those that just likes to do it on a Sunday yeah. and spends all day long marinating his chicken on a Saturday. But he was a musician, um, a fabulous performer, fabulous pianist, and, uh, you know, used to do regularly do this season up at Blackpool with the likes of Ken Dodd and people like that. And he'd be in the Planet Room doing his bit, you know. You know you, you, and their, their old style, they, they used to call him the Black Liberace. So he put on all the stuff and he had the change and the rings and stuff like that <laughs> and played with the hand, you know, yeah. like that. It's, uh, <laughs> it's amazing. And to grow up with that in the house, people often say, you know, I'm one of those people, Christine, bit of flair, bit of laughter, quite exuberant and always see the glass half full. Well, you know, I picked this up from your parents. Yeah. You know, I picked it up from my parents and, uh, and I think it's... And I'm still doing it 60 still odd doing, years yeah. later and I'm still going, oh, yeah, right, <laughs> Dad, how are you doing? <laughs> As it should be, though, Wayne. Yeah. Now, I've got to ask you about Ready, Steady, Cook. Mm. Again, another reunion. But it, could it be on the cards? I loved it. Yeah. I mean, we all mentioned it in the office this morning. Everyone goes, oh, wasn't Ready, Steady, Cook fantastic. I know. I know. Why hasn't it come back soon? I know. I don't know why. You know, it's the, the boss is upstairs. They have to make a decision and the company that owns the format. Mm -hmm. But would all you do that. it? Would yeah, you be I, yeah, but it could be somebody else's turn you know I, I kind of uh, still need like, you, you know though. what we're like in this the, the, the whole sort of tv world it's mm. kind of you can build up build up and people like to think oh what it was like you know mm. it's almost like chris tarrant doing the, uh, the uh, you know yeah. millionaire and somebody else came along people just don't know and to take it for granted saying oh yes you'll be so disappointed i love doing it uh i think it made cooking really interesting it brought cooking to people's living rooms and people's houses and just made them believe that they could have a go. And if, even if they weren't very good cooks, 
suddenly they knew what a jus was when they went to a restaurant. That's right. You know, <laughs> oh, true. it's got jus on it. I'll have some of that. I know that. what that is, guys. <laughs> oh, well, I just loved it. But yeah. look, what a gorgeous series this is. Ainsley's Caribbean Kitchen. So it's back on our tellies next mm. Monday at 8pm. Yeah. And there's a beautiful book that oh, goes with fantastic. the series as well. All the recipes in there. Look at you. I know. People seem just to be loving summer. it. It's, it's, it's just great. gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, Ainsley. Thank you for as having always. me on. So lovely to Absolutely see you. Thank brilliant. you.